Hey y'all, it's Mals, and welcome to episode 30 of 31 Days with the King. This is a short series dedicated to all things Stephen King, with a daily upload on one of his works. Now, we tried our best to incorporate some of his most popular titles, as well as some of the ones that are lesser known or weren't as well received. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick, and it's one of those ones I mentioned that wasn't as well received. And that is Rose Matter. Okay. Rose Matter is going to be a little bit to unpack here, okay? As always, I'll keep this as spoiler free as possible because even though it was a lesser, uh, well received, novel of his, I do always suggest that you give them a try because for you, it may not be that hard to get through. Okay, so with that, let's get started. Rose Matter is all about a woman who is the victim of domestic violence, okay? Now, King has written about domestic violence in a few of his other novels. To me, the one that sticks out the most is Dolores Claiborne, but in Rose Matter, it's, it's pretty graphic, in my opinion, the domestic violence. The main character's name is Rose. Um, however, there are supernatural elements that kind of come into play later that also play upon the Rose part of this as well. So Rose is married to a police officer. So someone who is kind of well known in the town and sometimes put up on a pedestal, right? Because he's part of law enforcement. Well, some pretty horrible things happen between Rose and her husband, and one day she just quite frankly gets tired of it, and she decides to leave him. Now, it's the best, turns out it's the best thing that she ends up doing because she escapes, and she settles into a little Midwestern town where she goes to a shelter, okay? Um, she befriends a couple of people at the shelter, and she really tries to start her life over, now, she takes her wedding ring to a pawn shop and she gets pretty disappointed because she finds out it's not even a real diamond. However, there is a painting in the pawn shop that she is immediately drawn to and she falls in love with. And the lady in the painting is re wearing a rose matter, which is considered a color um, dress. Okay, now, that's as much of the backstory that I really want to give you because past that, things start picking up heavy on the supernatural part of this novel. And the supernatural is obviously one of King's most common tropes that along with real life, you know, horror and horror in general. And I, I feel like this novel has all of it in it. Now, there are some parts that get clunky for me. It was not an easy one for me to get through. If I'm being just brutally honest here, it's not one of my favorite Stephen King novels. And I put it down and picked it up several times. Okay. Usually I can stick it through a novel, even if it's one of the ones that are harder to get through. This one for me was just not compelling enough to keep me interested. And for me, I feel like that is mostly because of the, the supernatural part of it. It didn't flow very well for me, okay? Now, I don't wanna dissuade anyone from checking out this novel because like I mentioned earlier, you may actually enjoy it. Just from a personal standpoint, it was a little harder to get through and for me personally, I don't know if the domestic violence part of it really sort of set that uneasy tone for me that I carried pretty much throughout the novel. Okay, now King himself has dubbed this novel as one of the stiff trying too hard novels that he's put out. The other one he describes as that is Insomnia. 
which we will not cover on this series, but one day we might do a little bit of a deep dive into that novel. And it's really kind of hard to be on board with a novel if the author himself finds it to be a little daunting. Okay, so again, Rose Matter is just doesn't hit all the points for me. And y'all know that's really hard for me to say. Like, pains me to say that there's something out there that Stephen King's that I truly did not enjoy. So, I've been telling you this whole time that we will touch on the ones that are less, you know, that weren't as well received. And this was my pick for one of the ones that wasn't as well received. Now, there was going to be an adaptation of Rose Matter, but it fell apart. I'm kind of glad for that because I honestly don't know how they would have ever made this into a cohesive and successful adaptation. That's just my opinion. So, uh, thank you for coming on the Rose Matter ride with me. I feel like it's a bit of a Debbie Downer to be like the second to last episode of this series, but I did want to showcase one that I wasn't particularly as fond of as the ones that I highlighted throughout the series. Now, I wouldn't be me if I didn't show you the photo on the back, okay? And it's a little tiny little photo there. But he's a handsome guy, even if the book wasn't that well. It wasn't that, done that well, in my opinion. Excuse me. He's so dreamy in this photo. I forgive you this time, okay? All right. So, please subscribe to Superficial Gallery. Hit the bell to get notified when new content is posted. Like the video, comment below, let me know what your thoughts on Rose Matter are. You might be one of those people that read it and enjoyed it, and I would love to hear from you about it, because I'm always open to different points of view on the novel. Um, so, like I mentioned earlier, this is our second to last episode, and I kind of wanted to do a little special hype up for our video for tomorrow. It will be the final video in the series, and I have a really big special surprise for that pick and for the adaptation that came out for it. So be sure you, you stay tuned in. It'll be the last episode of the series, but we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for going on the Rose Matter bumpy ride with me. And I'll be back to haunt y'all tomorrow with that very spectacular show. Bye. Aww.